Hello, everyone. Welcome to our show today called NG English. My name is John Drummond or Yang Haowen. Hello, 大家好，欢迎回到我们西米方的节目 NG 英文。我是 Angela. We have a great show for you today with our good friend Ann Winterson, who's known around the Taiwanese community as Ann May. 是的，今天我们很幸运的邀请到了混血模特兼演员 Ann May。Anne Winterson 来到 NG 英文，跟大家聊聊她的演艺生涯，跟她的双语成长经验分享。But before we get to the interview with Anne and I, Angela is going to help us break down some of the cultural differences Anne spoke about, particularly about some differences we can use to express "turn off the light" in Chinese and English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So take it away, Angela, here on NG English. 好的，没问题 ，John。谢谢你的介绍。那没有错。今天我们要来跟各位讨论讨论开灯的开，除了可以用 turn on 以外呢，还可以怎么表示？那现在就请大家赶快把你的 NG c h e a sheet 这个 NG 英文专属的笔记小抄准备好，我们要开始喽。那待会在访谈中呢，恩美他会提到小时候有段时间中文说的比英文还要好，有一次在跟爸爸说要开灯的时候，就中文直接翻成英文讲说 open the light。那虽然爸爸的确也明白他在表达什么，但还是告诉恩美，正确说法应该是 turn on the light。为什么嘞？如果听众朋友你还记得我们二月份其中一集讲的 turn on 和 open 的差别，就知道 open 它通常是用在把一般东西打开，或是 close 关起来、盖起来、合起来的时候。那 turn on 开启。或是相反词 turn off 关掉，常常是用在电器或是任何有电的装置。好，所以开灯呢，我们应该要说 turn on the light 才对哦。不过啊，就像我们中文有很多同义词一样，英文也有。其实 turn on、turn off 还可以用 switch on 和 switch off 来表达。所以像刚才前面讲的开灯 turn on the light。也可以说 switch on the light。相反的，关灯的话就会是 switch off the light。或者呢，像开电视、关电视，也可以说 switch on the TV 跟 switch off the TV。总之，这用法呢也是一样，要用在开关电器或是任何有电装置的时候，千万要记得哦。另外呢，我们也可以用 shut down 来表示关闭或是停止运作。像不管是最近因为新冠肺炎的关系，各国政府都下令封城，或是老板可能决定关闭工厂、关闭店面，甚至连一般关闭电脑啦、引擎这类要它停止运作的，都可以用 shut down。像是 shut down the city 封城 ，shut down the factory 关闭工厂 ，shut down the store 关闭店面，或者呢是 shut down the computer or shut down the engine。关闭电脑，关闭引擎。那如果你想说，哎，要重新开启的话，我们可以用 restart、reboot 或者 reopen。其中这个 reopen 呢，我们可以看到它有一个 open 在，所以它一样是要用在非电器设备方面哦。像可能是之后各国政府准备要重新开启各个城市的运作，就会是 reopen the city。那 reboot 还有 restart， 则是不论电器还是非电器设备都可以用。这部分它比较特别一点，建议大家可以上网查字典，多看一些例子，让自己多练习、多熟悉它的用法哦。是说我们讲了这么多，大家都还记得吗？赶快来稍微复习一下吧。开关电源的开跟关，除了可以用 turn on 和 turn off 以外呢，我们也可以用 switch on， 还有 switch off。像是 switch on the light 跟 switch off the light 开灯还有关灯。再来 shut down， 大家记得是什么意思吗 ？Shut down， 它表示关闭或是停止运作。像是现在各国政府都封城，就是 shut down the city， 或是老板决定关闭工厂、关闭店面，可以说 shut down the factory， 或是 shut down the store。又或者呢，一般这个关闭电脑啦、引擎这一类要停止运作的话，可以说 shut down the computer， 关闭电脑，或是 shut down the engine， 关闭引擎。最后重新开启的话，我们有三个可以用，大家记得是什么吗？没错，是 restart，restart restart。第二个 
reboot, reboot. 还有 reopen, reopen. 那其中这个 reopen 跟其他两个不一样的地方在哪里？大家还有印象吗？没错，没错，它就是只能用在非电器设备方面哦。那 reboot 还有 restart， 就是不管是电器还是非电器都可以用。记得这部分比较特别，大家尽量花时间多练习一下，就会比较熟悉它们的用法喽。好啦，那希望刚才讲的这些对你的英文学习之路有所帮助。如果有漏掉、没有听到或是写下来的，也不用担心，可以上我们的 YouTube 频道，随时想要听几次就给他听几次。那如果大家都已经准备好了的话，我们就赶快进入今天的访谈内容，听听美女恩美 Ann 她的分享吧。All right, all right, all right. As always, thank you, Miss Angela Ma, for that wonderful NG English breakdown. My guest today on the show is half American and half Taiwanese. She is an actress, model, lover of kung fu and martial arts, a big personality, and so much more. So, everyone, please welcome my good friend Anne. Hi, guys. I'm Anne. Anne, Anne, Anne. Well, thank you for joining us today here on NG Ingwen. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So you are a traveling woman, and I never know where you are based these days. So can you share with us where are you based? 访谈开始，这样提到我们来宾恩美常常世界各地爬爬照，都不知道她人在哪里，追不上她的脚步，所以问了这句 ，Where are you based? 意思就是说，你主要生活工作的地方在哪里？那等一下大家可以注意听恩美的回答。I am currently based in Taipei. 就是说，目前他主要工作生活地方在台北。好，那待会呢，恩美也会提到他很兴奋，等不及要参加更多的试镜，更多的这个 auditions， 还有他的功夫课 kung fu lessons， 跟继续他的模特儿和演戏工作。我们话不多说，赶快来认识认识这位混血美女模特儿恩美 Anne Winterson. Well, I just got back to Taipei, and I'm currently based in Taipei. And I'm excited to get back into the swing of things. I'm excited to do more auditions, do my kung fu lessons, and do more commercial modeling and acting. Beautiful! I love that. Yeah, some kung fu. Awesome. So, what got you started in the entertainment scene? 前面我们提到恩美她当模特儿和演戏的工作，那她当初是怎么踏入娱乐圈的呢 ？What got her started in the entertainment scene? 恩美说，她其实没办法 pinpoint 准确知道是什么时候开始的，但就是一直以来都很喜欢表演。像大概两岁的时候，她就很爱在家人朋友面前表演唱歌跳舞给他们看。那在高中的时候呢，都会很密集参加戏剧社的活动。她说，大家就在学校的那四年 solidify 巩固了她对表演的热情。后来大学时期呢，她就已经知道说，毕业后要去亚洲，想要去曼谷 Bangkok、新加坡 Singapore。香港、Hong Kong， 还有台北、台北当模特儿，而且毕业后这些当初的梦想计划，他也都一一实现。更棒的是呢，他的模特儿生涯也逐渐变成一个进入演艺事业的跳板，让他有机会开始接触演戏。Well, I don't know if I can pinpoint an exact moment, but I've always been passionate and I always enjoyed performing for others. I remember when I was two years old, I loved singing and dancing for my family and friends. And in high school, I was very much heavily involved in speech and theater, and I would probably say those four years solidified my passion. And then in college, I just knew, you know, after college, I want to go to Asia and I want to give modeling a try. I wanted to model in Bangkok, Singapore, Hong Kong, and Taipei, and that's what I did. And modeling became kind of like the platform for me to then start acting. So now that you've had so much experience with acting and modeling and the entertainment career, what would you say is your favorite thing? The the best pros of the job. 在这段访谈中，我们好奇宝宝 John 要来问问 Amy the best pros of the job. 这份工作给他带来最大的好处、最棒的地方是什么？ Emmy 说，她其实觉得自己真的很 blessed， 很幸福哈、哦，能够每天早上起床都迫不及待要去上班，因为她知道不少人早上要去工作的时候，常常都是很害怕去公司。她觉得那真的是蛮惨的。人应该要 follow our passion， 要做自己有兴趣、热爱的事情，要追随我们的热情。
像他演戏，就是演戏这份工作的一点一滴，他都爱，很喜欢有机会可以饰演各种不同的角色，几乎可以说是有点这个疗愈作用 ，therapeutic。而美丽外，他也提到说，这工作其中一点呢、啊，他很喜欢的是可以认识很多志同道合的朋友，而且因为常常都要到各地去拍摄取景，也让他有机会可以到处飞，去一些自己可能不太会去的地方，像是蒙古啦、Mongolia， 或是澳洲南部的阿德雷德、Adley 等等。最后，他也讲到一个很棒的部分，是他可以不用像上班族一样 work。Nine to five， 朝九晚五的工作，他的时间很弹性，可以自己掌控他的工作进度。Well, first off, I love what I do. I think I'm so blessed to be able to wake up every morning excited about my career. I think I just can't say that enough. I know so many people who dread going to work,、mm-hmm. whether they're my age or even older, and I think that's absolutely tragic. We need to follow our passion. In terms of acting, I love getting to play. Different roles. I love getting into their psyche and figuring out what would they do, what would they think. It's almost therapeutic. Yeah, I would say. I love the fact that I get to meet a lot of new people who are usually equally passionate about their jobs. So I feel like if you're in the entertainment industry, you're probably passionate about what you do, whether you're a makeup artist or a director. And I also love getting to travel all over the world. I've gone to really cool places that I otherwise. Might not have decided to go to like Inner Mongolia or Adelaide, Australia. It's so cool to shoot, you know, a week or two in different locations. And lastly, I would say the fact that I don't work nine to five.、Mm-hmm. I really enjoy the fact that I have flexibility and you know, I kind of control my own schedule. Yeah, I think that was beautifully said. And to kind of sum up that first point. Just being grateful that that is your job. Just thinking about us talking here. I mean, this is my job right now, and、mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm like, I feel like I'm just chatting with a friend. So I, I love expressing that gratitude for for the entertainment industry and and that we have found it, or it has found us. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> so thinking about 2020 and beyond, what are your plans moving forward now? 接着呢，我们要来问问恩美，她对未来有没有给自己安排一些什么计划 ？What are her plans? Moving forward, 美美说，除了继续维持健康快乐以外，她最近也跟美国加州洛杉矶 Los Angeles 的一间经纪公司签约，准备把她主要的生活圈转移到洛杉矶，而且之后可能会参与更多的联合制作，甚至呢还会进军好莱坞。哇塞，恩美她真的是太厉害了！我们赶快来听她的分享吧。Well, other than staying healthy and happy, I'm in the process of Also, basing myself in Los Angeles, I recently signed with a commercial and theatrical agency, and I'm excited to potentially be doing more co-productions, more Hollywood productions. Beautiful! That's exciting news. Congratulations! Thank you. I'm super excited. So I love all of your acting career, but part of this show here on NG Ingwen is about your language and your life. So can we have a little? A little backtrack into the story of Anne. When did your journey begin? 前面聊了这么多关于恩美的事业之后，现在我们要来稍微倒带，回到她小时候的部分。恩美说，她是在美国德州 Texas 出生，在台湾的南部高雄长大。那从 K through five， 从幼稚园到国小五年级都是念公立学校，六年级跟国一的时候念台湾的一间美国学校。之后从国二，也就是八年级开始，一路到大学的学业都是在美国完成。So I was born in Texas and I grew up in Gaoshan. So K through five, I went to local public schools in Taiwan, and then sixth grade and seventh grade, I went to American schools in Taiwan. So then eighth grade on through college, back in the states. Back in the states. Okay, right. And we were kind of mentioning off air that. K through five was a strategic move by your parents. Shout out mom and dad to get you acclimated to Mandarin Chinese when you were young. Is that right? 接着，这样会提到说，他跟恩美在录音之前呢、啊，在聊到说，当初他的爸爸妈妈决定让恩美从幼稚园到国小五年级都在台湾念，真的是一个 strategic move， 真的是一个高招，很有远见的一个规划，让恩美可以及早开始。Acclimated to local language, 及早适应当地的语言，也就是我们伟大的中文。因为他爸妈那时候就已经有意识到双语能力的重要性。就连后来搬回美国后
，妈妈在家里都还是一样会试着跟他用中文沟通，多少教他一些中文字。只是啊，那时候的恩美实在是兴趣缺缺，根本不想学。他说：“除非你有在那个环境里面，而且真的有意识到那个语言的重要性，不然真的很难去学。”当时他父母真的是很明智，在小小年纪就把他带回台湾念书。那因为小朋友就像海绵一样，学习力很强，加上整个大环境都是讲中文的，恩美说当时一个月内他就学起来了。然后的母语同时是英文也是中文，真的很厉害，值得嘉奖嘉奖。My parents knew early on the importance of being bilingual, and growing up in Iowa, my mom would try to speak Chinese to me and teach me Chinese words, but I wasn't interested. And unless you're in that environment and you recognize the importance of it, it's not really conducive to learning. So I think it was really wise of them to take my sister and I to Taiwan, throw us into the education system, and as children. We're quick learners, and we're very impressionable. So I picked up Mandarin Chinese in a month, and I was essentially native. I mean, you're giving me this face of like, "Wow, you're a genius!" Only because there's a camera here. <laughs> <laughs> Dramatic effect. <laughs> really? <laughs> But no, it's it's really easy. I think most kids could too as well. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And you're in the environment, and like you said, a lot of kids could do that. And they do that time of their life. They are such sponges of their environment, whether it's language or social behaviors. And so, yeah, kids can pick this up really easily. But I also sense there's a little bit of、uh, maybe intelligence in that brain of yours as well. Thank you, thank you. But I sense some,、uh, yeah, some intelligence. So I think that also plays a lot into it. So that also kind of leads me though to a little bit more of a difficult question. But maybe you can help us. Understand a little bit, and it's about tips and advice. So your language learning was done at a very young age for English and Mandarin Chinese. But can you share maybe some tips and advice, things that have helped you over the years as you continue to grow in Mandarin Chinese and English and maybe other languages as well? 在这段访谈中，我们要请恩美跟大家分享她一些学语言的小配播。恩美说，其实也有不少人在问她这个问题，想要跟她一样，就是两个语言都流利。但因为中文、英文对她来说，其实都算是她的母语，所以也很难去说明她是怎么学的。不过，恩美说她认识很多人呐、啊，都是从来没有离开过台湾，但是却说着一口流利的英文哦，让她真的是佩服的五体投地。那这些人到底是怎么办到的嘞？恩美说，他们很多都是看大量的 Hollywood movies， 好莱坞电影，听很多英文歌，而且呢都很敢开口练习说，因为学语言就是这样子，练习讲越多，你就进步的越快。Practice truly does make perfect， 说能生巧这句话真的是没有在骗人的啦。那听到这一边，相信听众朋友们对于这些小配博一定不陌生。很多我们的来宾几乎都分享过这样子的方法，表示是真的有效哦。所以还没有试过这些方法的朋友们，不妨找个时间赶快开始吧。Yeah, I've gotten this question a lot. How do you learn a language? How can I be like you, Anne? And like you were kind of mentioning, it's hard because I want to be like you. <laughs> <laughs> because I mean, they're they're both native to me, but I I do know a lot of people who. They've never even left Taiwan, and they speak fluent English. And I'm amazed. How did you do this? And they tell me, well, they watch a lot of Hollywood movies.、Mm -hmm. They listen to a lot of English music. And lastly, they're not afraid to speak. They're not afraid to just talk to a foreigner, because chances are we're not going to judge you. And as long as you're not shy, and the more you speak, the better you'll get. Practice truly does make perfect. Yeah, I think you sum that up. Basically, what everyone has kind of given insight to on this show, and I think it's so fascinating, is is you know Hollywood movies, listening to music that you love, and and trying and not kind of being afraid of that foreigner over there. So well said, well said, Anne. Moving on then a little bit to a fun question about translations or any maybe mistakes you have made over the years with language. Can you share any stories about that? 接下来，恩美要跟各位分享一个他曾经在中文、英文两个语言的转换过程中犯的一个小错误。他说，以前有段时间他的英文没有讲得像现在这么流利，虽然也算是母语，但是在三年级的时候，恩美他的中文其实比英文还要好。像有一次呢，他在跟爸爸说要开灯，就直接从中文翻过去英文，说了。
open the light。那虽然他爸爸也是了解女儿在说什么，但还是忍不住纠正了恩美的文法，告诉她应该是要说 turn on the light 才对。而这呢，也就是为什么恩美觉得说啊，跟母语人士练习真的很重要，因为他们可以告诉你正确用法，让你有机会从错误中去学习。不过这样提到说，他其实不太会去纠正，觉得听得懂对方在表达什么就可以了。所以这部分可能还是见仁见智，就看大家交的朋友是文法魔人、grammar Nazi 还是随性大师喽。A time in my life when I wasn't. As fluent in English as I am now,、mm. so while English was my first language, you know, when I was in third grade, my Chinese actually got better. And I would tell my dad, "Hey, Dad, can you open the light?"、Mm -hmm. And he'd say, "Oh no,、yeah. it's not open the light. It's turn on the light."、Right. So I was directly translating <laughs> Chinese into English. Yeah, yeah Kaizen, open the light. Yeah, exactly. I, I hear that all the time. Hey, can you open the light? So over the years, did your father kind of jam it into your head? Yeah, that... <laughs> he had to jam it in a few times. Then after that, I, I I picked it up, and that's why it's important to have a native speaker around you. Yeah, you know, and it's interesting you say that too, is because I hear that a lot with my Taiwanese friends, but I don't also correct it because、Ooh. I'm I know what they're saying. I always do. Yeah, I always do. You just say like, "Hey, that's wrong." I'm like, "I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be a grammar Nazi, but it's actually turn on. Thank me later." <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag thank me later. Yeah, I love that. Alrighty, well, we are unfortunately coming to the last question here on NG Ingwen, and I just want to thank you for joining us today. You are such a wonderful personality and a wonderful soul. But if you could think back to when you were a younger Anne, would there be any advice you give yourself about language or life? 最后，我们一样要来问问恩美，如果可以回到过去，给以前的自己一些建议。不管是在语言还是人生经验方面，他会想要跟小恩美说些什么嘞？恩美说，语言方面的话，他会想要请自己多下一点功夫 ，work on it a little bit more。因为你对一个语言懂得越多，就越了解他们的文化。他说，真的很感恩他拥有这样子中英双语能力，对他的事业发展真的有很大的帮助，给他更多的机会。像之前洛杉矶的这个经纪公司有成功签约，就是因为他们看中恩美会说中文，觉得他是一个有故事的人。那这边跟各位稍微小补充一点哦，等一下会听到他们两个突如其来一阵大笑，是因为恩美他讲到一半突然对 John 眨眼睛，那可能这个刚好就戳到这个 John 的笑点，所以两个就是忍不住一直在那边笑来笑去的。我们话不多说，赶快来听听访谈最后这段有趣的分享吧。Well, in terms of language, I might tell young Anne to even work on it a little bit more, because I think when you know a language well, you know the culture well.、Mm. And kind of as we were mentioning earlier, I'm so thankful that I speak Chinese and English because it has opened many doors for me. If I didn't speak Mandarin Chinese, I wouldn't be able to book the roles that I do, and I might not even be able to get signed in LA like I did. They're looking at my language ability and saying, "Hmm." We like that. Yeah, you're a little different. Yeah, you have a story. Um, but yeah, what was your question? She winked. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm a, I'm a huge winker. I know, I love it. I'm a huge、It's、winker. Like, did you hear that, John? <laughs> Get into your head. <laughs> Yes, keep going. I'm sorry to interrupt. What was other than language, though? What What did you want? Maybe any advice on life, but I think that goes hand in hand. Yeah. Be happy. Stay healthy. <laughs> Hashtag cliche 2020. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you know. Like you said, I think it's it's important because you bring something unique to the table. You know, you have your fluent Mandarin and fluent English, and that really offers a lot to movie productions and modeling and so much. As we grow to an international community more and more every day. So yes, again to everyone listening, this is just another reason to focus on language as a skill asset and a tool for your life. Not just oh, it's a language、uh, or a subject. I need to learn it in school. No, it's important for our life, and I think it offers us a lot of new doors and new opportunities to the future. So, before we depart today from each other, can you share maybe where people could find your life more online? Well, my Instagram handle is at Anne Winterson. A N E. W I N T E R, like the season winter, and then S O N, so Ann Winterson. Winterson. You、yes. can search Ann Mei, 感恩的 Ann, 美丽的美 Ann, 
Un, un, un. Yeah. yeah, that's my name as well. All righty. Well, thank you again for joining us today on NG England, Anne. It has been a pleasure. Thank you for sharing all of your wisdom, insight, and knowledge. Thanks so much for having me. I had a blast. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Peace. That is our NG Ingwen show for today. We hope everyone enjoyed listening to that. Don't forget to connect with us on Instagram or Facebook. You can search NG Ingwen or you can search NG English ICRT. And make sure to tune in each week, Wednesday morning from 6.30 to 7 and Wednesday night from 9 to 9.30. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. 好，那我们今天新平方的节目 NG 英文就到这边告一段落啦。感谢大家的收听，别忘了到 IG 搜寻我们的粉丝专业 NG 底线 English 在底线 ICRT。那大家也要记得每周三早上六点半到七点，或是晚上九点到九点半，把广播调到 ICRT 频道 FM 一百，准时收听我们节目哦。那也欢迎大家上网搜寻西平方的“攻其不备”课程，或者是呢到我们西平方的官网，多读读一些有关 NG 英文的专栏文章，看看在 NG 英文里面的专栏有没有哪些是大家可以吸收学起来的一些小 p a p e 哦。我们下次见了，拜拜。